With new details on the meeting between world leaders at a NATO summit in Madrid, President Joe Biden underscored the Atlantic Alliance's commitment to defend every inch of its territory. ABC's Karen Travers has the latest. With the war in Ukraine now intensifying after recent Russian airstrikes on civilians, President Biden says the NATO alliance is proving it's more necessary now than ever before. In the moment where Putin has shattered peace in Europe and attacked the very, very tenets of rule-based order, the United States and our allies are going to step up. Up. The president announcing the extension of some U.S. troop deployments in Europe, establishing a military headquarters in Poland, the first permanent American forces on NATO's eastern flank. The U.S. also increasing the number of U.S. Navy destroyers stationed here in Spain from four to six, sending two additional F-35 squadrons to the U.K. and enhancing rotational deployments in the Baltics. Together, our allies, we're going to make up sure that NATO is ready to meet the threats in all directions across every domain, land, air, and the sea. There are currently 100,000 U.S. troops in Europe, including 10,000 in Poland, but no specifics from the president or senior officials on how large that permanent U.S. military presence will be in Poland or how many U.S. troops will deploy to Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. We're going to continue to adjust our posture based on the threat in close consultation with our allies. And the NATO alliance soon getting two new members. On the eve of the Madrid summit, Turkey dropping its objections to bids from Finland and Sweden, two countries on Russia's doorstep. Their decision to move away from neutrality and the tradition of neutrality to join NATO alliance is going to make us stronger and more secure. But it's not just Ukraine on the agenda. NATO leaders are also discussing challenges posed by China. And President Biden met with the leaders of South Korea and Japan to talk about the threat of North Korea. Karen Travers, ABC News, traveling with the president in Madrid.